This month in Outer Banks history, we'll take a look at the Carol Deering, the infamous ghost ship of Diamond Shoals. The Carol A. Deering was a five-masted schooner constructed in Bath, Maine in 1919. The ship was 255 feet long with 108-foot masts and weighed over 1,800 tons. She was designed for cargo service out of the best stock, oak ceilings, hard pine planking, a bathroom with open plumbing, and cabins lit with electricity and heated by steam. She was the largest and last ship constructed by the G.G. Deering Company and one of the last wooden cargo ships ever built. On August 20th, 1920, the Carol Deering set sail on a voyage to Rio de Janeiro to deliver a shipment of coal. On the way, the G.G. Deering Company was forced to replace her captain and first mate, hiring retired shipmaster Captain Willis T. Wormel and first mate Charles B. McClellan. The ship completed its voyage without incident, but Captain Wormel reported having difficulty with the unruly crew, especially McClellan. On the return voyage from Rio de Janeiro, McClellan was arrested for drunkenness during a supply stop in Barbados. And in his drunken state, he was overheard declaring, I'll get that captain before we get to Norfolk, I will. Captain Wormel forgave McClellan and bailed him out of jail, and the ship soon left for Norfolk. On January 30th, 1921, the Deering passed the Cape Lookout lightship, cruising at about five miles per hour. A crew member hailed the lightship via megaphone to report that the Deering had lost her anchors in a storm off Cape Fear and needed assistance, but the ship didn't stop. By the next morning, the Deering had run aground with all sails set on Diamond Shoals near the Cape Hatteras Coast Guard Station. Heavy seas and rough tide kept the crew from immediate rescue. Keepers at nearby stations noted she looked as if she had been abandoned in a hurry and that she had been stripped of all lifeboats with no sign of life on board. The ship could not be boarded until February 4th, at which time it was noted that the crew and their personal effects were gone, yet charts were scattered about the captain's bathroom and food was set out in the galley and on the stove. The steering equipment appeared to have been intentionally disabled. The only living soul aboard was a six-toed cat who would go on to establish a progeny of polydactyl cats on the Outer Banks. The rest of the crew had simply vanished. Theories abound as to what happened to the crew of the now infamous ghost ship Carol Deering. Some believe they were simply lost to the storm, having abandoned ship after running aground, but no bodies or debris were ever discovered. Others speculate that the crew mutinied, given Wormel's negative comments about his men and his first mate McClellan, or that they were marauded by pirates or rum runners. There's even some speculation that the ship was the victim of the Bermuda Triangle, despite the fact that neither it nor the crew disappeared in that area. According to local legend, the word Croatoan was the last word to appear in the logbook, and that word is tied to several disappearances throughout history, most notably the lost colony of Roanoke. However, this rumor and the location of the logbook have never been confirmed. We may never know what happened to the crew of the Carol Deering, and for that reason it remains one of the most captivating ghost stories of the North Carolina coast. To learn more about the Carol Deering or any other topic in Outer Banks history, come visit us at the Outer Banks History Center. We're located at Roanoke Island Festival Park across from the downtown Manio waterfront.